Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a very good day. So today I have a Hunger Games tag for you guys. Since the Hunger Games movie just came out two weeks ago, I thought it would be appropriate to do this tag. And it's a combination of different tags. One of the tags is by Aura from Aura's Book Box, as well as Joey Graceffa and Alexander Carpenter. So I will leave all of the questions down below so you can check it out. But just a little bit of an update for you guys. Currently I am reading Lamb, the Gospel of According to Biff. So far I'm really liking it. I think it's a lot of fun aspects to the book that I wasn't expecting. Really great things happening in the plot. So it's not all jokes and haha -ha funniness. It actually has a lot of nice elements to it, which is really great. But I'm falling just, just a little bit behind on my reading schedule at the moment because of the internet. Guys, the internet, there's a lot of stuff on there. Last week, this past week, I've been watching Misfits on Netflix. Mature content, 18 and over, sexually explicit violence and language, etc. Yeah, that that took up a good portion of my time. I think it's really good. Love the characters. It's insane. Also, what's been taking up a lot of my time is watching Korean drama. Yes, I've been watching Boys Before Flowers, 25 episodes, an hour long each. It's insane. I don't know the official rules on watching dramas, but you have to keep watching them, you know, one after the other, which I've been doing. You know, I have to take a break just for now because I have to keep reading. But lots of sweet, corny, mushiness. I I love the Korean dramas and the Japanese dramas. You didn't need to know all of that probably. Okay, so let's get on with the Hunger Games tag right now, I promise. If you haven't read the books or watched the movie, I suggest not watching this at the moment because it will contain spoilers. Yeah, I'm sorry. So the first tag I'm going to do, guys, is by Aura from Aura's Book Box. The first question is Gail or Pita, and can we go Team Hamish? Let's go with Team Hamish. She's amazing, both in the film and in the book. I think Woody Harrelson in the movie did an amazing job playing Hamish, all his mannerisms and his personality I thought was on point. The next question is Effie's crazy style or sweet and simple like Cinna. I really, really like both of their styles. I really enjoy Effie's crazy style. I think for like a day or two, I think I could handle that, but not every day. I'd probably, you know, put on something simple like Cinna. The next question question is life in the capital or slug it out in the districts and I would say slug it out in the districts. There's a lot of really cool aspects in the capital but to maintain that high maintenance you know look going on that they have at the capital I cannot do it every day. The next question is bread from district 11 or lamb stew from the capital. For me I would have to go with lamb stew because I do like lamb. I think it's tasty. Yeah, and I love stew too, so lamb stew sounds good to me. I do like bread too, so maybe dip a little bit of that in the lamb stew would be a nice combination. I know I'm supposed to pick either or of these choices, but I'm kind of, you know, cheating. Yeah. <laughs> the next question is Katniss's archery skills or Kato's knife fighting skills, and I would say Katniss's archery is a really great long-range kind of weapon. You don't have to be close and personal with the person you're about to kill. The next question is Peta's gift of camouflage or Rue's gift in climbing, and I would totally choose the climbing. I think that's just a quick, fast way to avoid the enemies. I think the camouflage would definitely be more effective as far as doing surprise attacks, of course, but you would definitely need a lot of time to do Peta's crazy skills in camouflage. He's awesome. At at it, but depending how fast these kids are coming at you, you might not have a lot of time to, you know, do the whole camouflage. Yeah, I would say climbing <laughs> would be the best, easiest way for my technique anyways. The next question is become an AVOX or be stung by a tracker jacker? And I, you would think the most sane choice would be just be stung by a tracker jacker and be done with it. but. You know, I, I don't mind being an AVOX, kind of, a little bit. It would be a quick way just to avoid, you know, awkward conversations. Being able to observe and listen and become, you know, the eyes of everything that's happening. That would be really cool too, I think. The next question is join forces with the careers or run for the hills. I would definitely run for the hills. You know, I don't think I would team up with anyone because in the end, you know, you'll have to kill that person. So I'd rather not, you know, get too close to anyone. But unless it's the careers, really actually the best way to get close to your enemy and know their weaknesses and their vulnerabilities too. So 
Yeah, that's a tough question actually. Depends on the situation, I guess. The next question is who's cuter, Prim or Rue? I think Rue is pretty cute. She's adorable, especially in the movie. She's amazing. And the last question is run for the cornucopia or run for the hills? I don't know. Probably maybe grab something on the outskirts of the cornucopia just to have something that would help then afterwards run for the hills Yeah, I wouldn't go too deep in the cornucopia I would think so those are the questions and my answers to Aura's Hunger Games tag Let's get into the second part of the Hunger Games tag which was created by Joey and Alexander So the first question is what is your favorite book out of the trilogy? And I would say the Hunger Games the first book I really enjoy first books in series because you're introduced to this new world you're introduced to all the characters and getting to know them and the Hunger Games was pretty damn intense so I really enjoyed the first book a whole lot. The next question is how long would you last in the Hunger Games and you know I'd like to think till the very end that's a nice thought but realistically maybe if my you know technique in fighting of avoidance and surprise attacks I would say maybe close to the end. Let's go with that if that all pans out. Let's say close to the end. The next question is what is the strangest thing you thought would happen in the books? And I have no idea. You know, I was kept on my toes for pretty much the entire series. Suzanne Collins just pulled me into her world and what's happening in the story. So I didn't really have any predictions or thoughts on what might happen in the future book. So the next question is, how were you introduced to The Hunger Games? For me, I just saw it lying on the table in a bookstore. Before reading The Hunger Games, I've heard about it, and I heard that it was a New York Times bestseller, and I was looking for a new book to read, and so I just saw it there, and I read the synopsis. It sounded insanely awesome, so I just checked it out. The next question is, what is your favorite moment in The Hunger Games? I think the whole training aspect before Katniss went into The Hunger Games, it was just interesting to see the entertainment factor to the Hunger Games. There's a lot of manipulation going on so that was really interesting. The next question is your favorite villain? President Snow. He's pretty deceiving. He's one of those cool collected manipulative villains that I really like. The next question is who's your favorite character? I would say mm, I really like Katniss's and Peeta's team. Cinna, Haymitch, Effie Trinket. I think all of them are really interesting especially their motivations to help Katniss and Peeta. All of them had really different roles and personalities. I liked their interaction throughout the whole series. The next question is which district would you live in? I would say District 3. You know I've taken quizzes on which district I would be placed in and twice I've been placed in the technology district. I would totally agree with it because of all the technology. I'm like a techie. I love gadgets and I love shiny electronic thing. The next question is what is the most emotional moment in the book for you? As far as the series goes I would say the ending in Catching Fire when Gail tells Katniss that District 12 has been bombed. Ah that was insane. That was pretty emotional and crazy. As far as the Hunger Games book when Cinna is with Katniss right before the games begin. I thought that was pretty intense as well. And the next question is what item from home would you take with you to the arena? And um oh I don't I don't know. Probably something practical like a flashlight or all these you know snacks. Can we bring those? No probably not. Or some weapon like a small dagger of some sort. Not that I have a dagger personally but you know a small knife. <laughs> The next question is, what is the most evil plan someone made in the books? As far as the games are concerned, I would say the 75th annual Hunger Games in the second book, in Catching Fire, when past winners in each district would have to play in the Hunger Games again. I thought that was mind-blowing. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. It's pretty bad going through it once, but a second time, that's pretty evil. That's pretty bad. The next question is, what are you looking forward to most in the film? I guess watching the film is the biggest, because it's the freaking film. Whenever a movie adaptation of a book comes out, I'm just super excited to see what they've done. It's definitely hard to say what the outcome will be and how people will receive the film, but ultimately I just like seeing it played out on screen, seeing the actors and seeing the story unfold visually. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> so that's everything guys. Those are the questions and answers to Joey and Alexander's Hunger Games tag. I tag you and you and you and you and you behind there. Yeah, I tag everyone. Feel free to do so if you'd like. So that's everything guys. Have a good day. May the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs>